Hi, I'm Ray McAllister, editor of Boomer Magazine, and we're here today with Rita McClenney, head of the Virginia Tourism Corporation, and formerly had a, uh, a lower but no less important job as head of the Virginia Film Office. Thank you for coming today, Rita. Great to be here, Ray. You know what I should tell people before I forget? Rita was one of our inaugural uh, Boomer It List award winners last year, so thank you on both scores. Yeah, it's been fun being an It Girl. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you've always been an It Girl, Rita. But we're, your, your reign is almost over. I know. We'll be announcing the new ones in December. The, uh, let's talk a little bit about Lincoln uh, behind the scenes. You got a chance to talk to, uh, to all the stars, and you got a chance to interact with them, and you heard the stories. Tell, share some of those stories with us. Well, you know, one of the most compelling and really heartwarming stories is Steven Spielberg. While he was on set at the Capitol, you could observe filming. So there were hundreds of people who would come out during the day at lunch or mm -hmm. just any time during the day because they did not call, close Capitol grounds. So Stephen, on occasion, would come out and just wave to people and, wow. and greet people and, hi, how are you doing? Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us in Virginia. Mm -hmm. There was a story of one night, uh, there was a late night of filming, and the coffee at the craft service table was, the urn was empty. And then he went and had one of his assistants go get coffee, you know, from his trailer and bring it out for those mm -hmm. guys. So, you know, just really I kind, thought you were going to say generous. he made the coffee for a moment. But <laughs> <laughs> no, he sounds like, a, sounds like a terrific guy. Terrific guy. And really, they were so respectful and caring of our history and our locations. Mm -hmm. Being... Right at the Capitol and having that as a location, they were very appreciative because they really took over Capitol grounds and became a backdrop and in a sense a back lot for the film. And so there are many stories of the actors who, uh, James Spader, his family was here. They had oh, really? a house in the fan and they would always go to Carytown. So his wife would go shopping. I think one of their favorite shops was um, for the love of chocolate, they would go there all the right. time, and you know, they would they love to go to Can Can. So you know, just really kind of, m many of them became a part of the community, and they felt like you know, for that three month period while they were filming, they were at home. Terrific. Yeah, it was great. One of the things I heard about, and I'm not sure how accurate it was, or was that Daniel Day Lewis, i.e. Abraham Lincoln would be in character 24-7. He wanted people to call him Mr. President, and he was Abraham Lincoln all the time. Yeah. Well, Daniel Day-Lewis is really known as a character actor, and he immerses himself in his characters. So I will say that, yes, he was Mr. President, and it really, I think it would really, you will see this in the film. So November 16th, make sure you're there to see Daniel Day-Lewis as Abraham Lincoln. We will be. Thank you, Rita. And please check back with us for more with Rita.